Hi guys, welcome to my tutorial. And for today's tutorial, I will um, teach you how to create a WebSocket server using Windows Form application C Sharp. So as you can see here, I already provided the UI, but there is no function yet in the backend. So here, um, I already provided the source code in my GitHub so that we will use this for our tutorial. So here, uh, we must uh, we must install this um, library, Binet WebSocket Server, in our Nogget package. So I will just go into copy this and put it on Manage Nogget. Then just install. After that, so as you can see in our source code, in our GitHub, um, I just put it here in outside of the methods so that we can call the connection from the other event. So here I will just put it here. Then here we have an optional code for getting the all IP address of our machine here. So it is an optional. It it depends on you if you are going to use this code. So for me, I will just go into copy this code here in our form group. So that once we run this code, um, all of the it, all of the list of IP address it will show here in our um, text box. Then here we will not we need to start the the button and stop. So let's put that. And stop. So here, let's call the connection that start is not. Then just put await since this is uh, asynchronous. Then also same with the um, stop button. Stop. Then now it's working. So, but yeah, uh, we need to um, call the event. So let's create an event here. Um, here we have four event um, for on receive, on error, on disconnected, and on connect, on connected client. So for on connected and disconnected, this is both the same. Uh, it will um, send you a message on how many clients are connected in our uh, web socket. And for on receive, it will um, send here the all um, client uh, message and your response also. Then, so here I will going to use on connected client. Let's create. Then, connection is connected connection on receive here so here let's remove this code since we don't need this so first yeah um, I will just going to copy the code for that but wait um, so as you can see here in our UI, we have status label. So let's code that. So here in our status label, um, let's check the properties and the name. Ah, status label. So here I will just put here text running so that we know if our web socket is running or it's not. So the default is stop. So it's depend on you if you are going to you to put a status to. Then let's try here on disconnected. So let's copy the codes here. Um so I put in book here for safety UI. So let's copy this code. Then put it here on disconnected and also in the connected client. So let's try. By the way, guys, I am using Postman. 
uh, for testing our web socket. So as you can see here, uh, let me connect. So as you can see, it's not connecting because um, it's not yet started. So let me let me start the web socket. So it's now running. So here, let's click the connect. So as you can see, it's connected. And once we check the connected client, now it's one. So let's add more here. So I using different IP address. So but it is the IP address of my machine, so it will gonna work too. So let's connect. So as you can see here, it is connecting now. Then once we disconnected, as you can see here, it's also disconnected. So as you can see here, it's connected this one. So once we stop the application, also it will disconnect all the clients. Then now let's uh, proceed to the sending message. So once the, the client sent a message on the server, uh, let's display it on here. So I already have the code here in my GitHub. So let's copy it here. Um, receive message. So this one. So I just appending the text. So let's copy this. Then here also maybe we can um, use this send all and send room. So let's go back in our UI. I will click here send all and send. So for the send all, it will um, send a message to all client connected in our web socket. For the send room, it will send a message for a specific um, room so that the other client, it won't um, receive any message from the server. So here, uh, yeah, I will just go, gonna copy this code. So as you can see here, all of our code is asynchronous so that our application won't plug once we using this um, library. So for the send message, send room, copy this. For the send room, as you can see here, we have um, room ID. For the room ID, the default here in our UI is my room. So here is the example. For example, this one, WS, localhost. Then just put room, this default in our application. So that this my room will receive a message. So now let's try. So I think that's all in our code here. Then let me start. Then here, um, let me create more uh, room, my room. So if you want to create a, uh, another room, just name different. So my room. Then let's connect. So you can see it's connected, connected, and connected. So we have three clients. So let's uh, message here from the client, number one. Uh, hello, server. This is client one. So let's send message. So as you can see, here, you you will also receive a message you sent in the in the our server. So as you can see here, we already received. So here, let's try to message all client. Hi, all. Hi everyone. Send all. So as you can see here. The client one received the message from the server. Also, here, hi everyone. Also, here. So, here, let's try to receive a message from a specific room. So, I am using my room. Um, hi, room one. So, let's send a message. So, as you can see here, it's not 
the client one and client two is not receive the message since uh, they are not using the room my room so as you can see here in my room it is uh, received the message yeah then let's try to disconnect it all the client yeah i think that's all in our tutorial and if you have a um, question just ping me on my github yeah. and the source code is available here in our binet library also the web binet web server uh, the code is also here so that you can check it so thank you for watching everyone and have a nice day